Oh. God. That was rough. There's my ship. Hello? You look a little worse for wear, my friend. You must be on quite the journey. Do you... I should eat something if I were you. A full belly can do wonders for your spirits. Once you're in good health, we'll speak properly. I mean, are we not going to talk about how you're smoky and green? God, so hungry. I just ate that with the skin on. There. You look better already. Maybe even strong enough to reach the Sea of Thieves. <laughs> Don't look so surprised. These days they call me the Pirate Lord. But back when I discovered this place, I was just a bold explorer like you. I dreamt of finding uncharted waters filled with treasures and rife with danger. Where every sunrise brought a new adventure. You've been brave to make it this far. Not many do. Now you've one last crossing to make. You'll want some trusty steel at your side, though. There's a sword in those trees whose owner doesn't seem to need it anymore. Oh, yeah, sure. Nice. Got me a free sword. That's not too bad. Holy crap! Um, Mr. Green Smoky Man. Oh, there you are. There's far more to being a pirate than a blade in your hand and a love of other people's money. It's about finding your way through ancient caverns by lamplight, digging up long lost treasure, and raising a frothing great tankard of grog when you live to tell the tale. For all that, you'll need the right equipment. You can start by taking this old shovel. Oh, okay. I stowed a few belongings around here back in the day. The map will show you the way. Where did I get this map from? This is gonna be so full of sand. I hate sand. Ah, my old chest. Let's see if she still hides her secrets. I mean, there's a couple of holes in it. I can. Honestly, I could probably just reach in there and grab some of this stuff. Oh, look at all this stuff. There's a gun, compass, a weird trumpet thing. A oh. fine weapon. She'll serve you well out there. Oh look, it comes with uh, Grog in it already. Just one moment. Yep. Oh. I must have been really dehydrated from the trip here. Or is some really strong Grog. There, now you look like a true pirate. Give me, just give me a minute. There's plenty more to see, so why not stretch your legs and explore? I'll be ready to leave. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to Sea of Thieves. Now, obviously, I've uploaded Sea of Thieves before on this channel, but today we are starting a new series. And I know, Zach, you started a bunch of series all the time and you never finish them. This one, I am very dedicated to finishing. This is one I've wanted to do for a very long time. It is basically from Bilge Rat 
to Pirate Legend. We're going to start with a brand new pirate. This is the new pirate that I just picked. You know, the game's been out almost four years now, over four years now, and we still can't do a proper character creation, but it's whatever. I really like this one. It was honestly the best one out of all of them that I was at least going for it. But yeah, so th what we're going to do is we're going to start from this fresh new pirate, and we are going to make it to Pirate Legend. Now, I don't want this to be like, a, oh, hey, we're doing this, and uh, yeah, we went up two rep levels. No, each video is going to be is going to have its own theme and its own challenge to it. Whether it's raid every single C4 with the Reaper's mark, uh, with the, like a Reaper emissary flag up, or stack vaults, or do I mean we can't do Athena voyages yet, but you know what I mean. Like each one's gonna have its own risk and reward to it. Now, to give you guys an idea of where I am, because this doesn't really look like the main game, this is the Maiden Voyage. And I really wish we would have had this when I first started playing. When I first started playing, we literally just woke up in a tavern and sent it, really. <laughs> and so this is the Maiden Voyage, and it's basically here to teach you the basics uh, of how to do things. You know, like, it just had me look for my first chest. I killed my first skeleton, which was, you know, strapped to a tree, which doesn't really count. You know, it, it, it's a good way of learning the basics before you get out on the real, like, the main game itself. Now, I do recommend playing this, because uh, you can get past it just by starting it and exiting it, uh, from what I hear. But I strongly urge you guys to play through this. Uh, there's actually, like a, like, a bunch of, um... Let's see here. Yeah, it's a tall tale. You know, there's actually some decent rewards. Like, so just for completing it, you get the Pirate Lord's Jacket, which is actually not a bad jacket. And then if you get all of these, you get the Magpie, the Magpie's Fortune Sales, which are, there's, they're nice sales and they're free, you know? Now, to do that, you have to, um, you have to finish the whole thing, but you also have to, uh, do all these commendations. So, cook some old meat, uh, fire a cannon from the wreck. Uh, catch a fish, discover the old rowboat, and then there's 10 journals here. And there's plenty of guides, and I might include a guide uh, for this real soon. But then, this one right here, which is what we're going to do, we are going to get some free gold. Now, to get the free gold, so you're down here with the Pirate Lord, you turn around, you head right up this trail right here. Come up these stairs, oh, and then up this ladder. Now what you can do here, is you can pull out your sword, pull down right click, and then hold left click to charge, and as soon as you lunge forward, you press the space bar, so like this. And we'll shoot you over here. I mean, there's a normal way to do it, but this is the fastest way of getting over here. And then, so now that you're in this pond, look at the sails here. And then look down. And boom. A key. Now, where does this key go? To secret seas. Right down here. So we open this. Get the commendation. Drop in. Get some gold. Some more gold. I think this is the gold. And yeah, I think that's all the gold you get. So yeah, you get 30, 37,500 gold, which is enough to get you started with the cosmetics that you really like want uh, in the beginning, at least. And then there is actually a journal down here. So yeah, and I think that's actually one of the journals for the uh, for the commendation as well. Let's take a look. Yep. So yeah, so there's only nine journals left. Okay, yeah, so after so but if you're not interested in that, 
you just want to kind of get into the game. Like, cool, I got some free gold. Let's just go ahead and head back to the Pirate Lord. But, guys, I really do recommend just kind of checking this place out. I mean, Rare put a ton of effort into this. It's a very beautiful island. Like, I honestly wish we could come back. We can actually, like, visit this place in the main game. But I get why. I get why we can't. But, yeah. So, after you say you did take my advice and you, like, went through all of this and checked everything out. Now, you just head back down this way. I say you're as ready as you'll ever be for what's ahead. Thank you. Allow me to show you the path. A nice little like Gandalf, you shall not pass the moment. The shroud is beginning to part, but you have one more task before your journey continues. You may be ready to sail, but your ship still needs repairs. Go and tend to her wounds. All right, let's go fix our ship. All right, so, uh, I mean, the, the, the prompts are gonna tell you everything I'm saying, but basically when your ship, when your mask gets down like this, just come over here where you set the length. So, not the double rope, but the single rope. And just pull it back. Now, I'm playing on PC just because for me it's better. Um, my PC runs way better than my Xbox. So, but yeah, after you get this pulled up. So, after you get this pulled up, you do need to like uh, repair it with wood. Because if you don't and you drop it down. Falls right back over. All right, so let's go get some wood. Get you fixed up nice and good. By the way, you should always name your ship. This is Gina. Alright. Look after your ship. Oh, Oop, okay. Alright, so we come down here, get a bucket. Yep, all that water just fit into this little bucket, believe it or not. So then another quick tip. So like this barrel is more so for like uh, when you have fires on the ship. Now, a good way to kind of get this thing filled up faster. Let me just go ahead and empty it real quick. So when you when you go to use it, you do that to start filling it. But, you know, it, that takes some time. If you're trying to get it filled really quick, as soon as you, like, when you push the button and as soon as you see water come out, just let go. And it still counts as, like, a, a full, like, pull. Of course, we uh, already built it, so. All right, so now we just raise capstan. Now, if you're solo slooping, this is just something that I recommend doing, because when you're when you're playing by yourself on a sloop, you really need to learn to kind of just like maximize everything for convenience, and just to be like efficient, really. So first things first, though, you definitely need to. Um, Obviously, on the Maiden Voyage, you really don't need to. It's when you get into the actual game. But uh, turn off all these lanterns. Granted, half-decent players will still see the silhouette of your ship, but turning off the lanterns makes it makes you less noticeable. Because you can see these lanterns practically all the way across the map. Okay, so now we just raise the capstan. So this is what I was saying, though. Like, when you go to... If you're playing by yourself and you're on a sloop, I recommend starting this side on the, with the capstan. 
Because then once you come around to finish it up, boom, you're on the wheel. But I also don't recommend dropping your anchor every place you go. Obviously on a sloop it's very quick to raise it. But when I when I like just get to an island, I'll uh I'll, I'll lower my sail and if I'm not gonna, you know, if my momentum's still too much, then I'll drop the anchor and then I'll immediately raise it after my sail is all the way up. Because again, if you're by yourself, it's and you're on a sloop, it's very uh detrimental if you know you first find out that there are players nearby when they're attacking your ship. So this way, if somebody sees you and they start attacking and you see them, you just have to whoop, and you're moving. Except for taking the X amount of seconds it takes to raise this thing up. But yeah, all right, let's say goodbye to the Pirate Lord. So long, Ramsey. <clears throat> Yeah, guys, I'm really excited to, to do this. I've been honestly planning on doing this for a long time. We can steer. Now, the steering is something you'll definitely have to get used to. Because uh, you have to... You know, it's not like driving a car where it's like, Oh, I'm going left. Oh, I'm going right. You kind of... Have to predict... Or, not predict, but, you know, get used to, like, okay, I haven't turned this far that long. Boom, I'm centered. You know, and this will always signify uh, when your wheel's back at its center and you're going straight. On console, your controller will vibrate when the sound is happening. Yeah, guys, I've been waiting a long time to do this. Um, I absolutely love this game. It's definitely one of my favorite games. Um, I've been playing it literally since day one. I wasn't part of the, uh, the betas or anything like that, so I don't have any, like, you know, Brave Vanguard stuff or anything like that. But I am part of the Insider Program. I technically a year one Pirate Legend. I missed it by one day because I took a break and it came back but yeah I absolutely love this game I've been playing it since it released and I just love sharing this with people and I honestly wish I could play this game for the first time like legit legitimately and experience it for the first time again And if you're curious as to like what this stuff is that we're driving through right now, this is the Devil's Shroud. This is what surrounds the Sea of Thieves. And if you go into this Devil's Shroud, like I don't think the game will actually let us do it here. But essentially what would happen is your ship's gonna start gonna start deteriorating. It's Megan! Hard putting makes is like is actually really fun. Oh, and there's Thieves Haven in the distance. If you don't know the significance of this island, honestly, guys, um, a really good audiobook. To listen to about this game if like, you want to learn some of the lore and the characters. Oh, <laughs> Skelly ship. Uh, Athena's Fortune. You can actually listen to the audiobook here on on YouTube uh, on the CP's channel. Obviously not sponsored, but. You guys are going to see Karen. Rise, almighty Karen. Wait for it. There's Karen. And 
never quite works like that. Let's uh, get back on track here. But yeah, uh, that's Thieves Haven right there in the distance. This is uh, the first island that the Pirate Lord, or Ramsey, had visited when they broke through the shroud and they uh, sailed through the storm. Keep dancing in it when the camera pulls away. Ah, I do. This is new. new face. That was quite the celebration when you arrived. I'm not surprised you don't remember it. The pirate lord told me to expect you. I hope you are prepared for the adventure that awaits and the danger. You'll need gold if you're to prosper, but there are ways to see to that. Several trading companies have a presence across the Sea of Thieves. Here on this outpost, you can meet with the gold hoarders, the Merchant Alliance, and the Order of Souls. Don't be fooled. These aren't the stuffy bureaucrats you're used to from the wider world. They'll readily pay pirates who are willing to take on work. Make yourself known, and they'll offer you voyages to prove yourself. Think of them as an initiation, or a way to make coin, if you prefer. You'll find your ship waiting outside, as well as food and supplies, if you know where to go. When you're ready for a greater challenge, come back and speak with me again. <clears throat> wow, that is new. I don't remember that. Uh, even after the Maiden Voyage came out, I don't remember that being a thing. Oh, I didn't mean to click on that. Okay, so I can't talk to him again. All right. Yeah, because normally he's standing over here, and uh, this is where you'll, uh, like, turn in. I actually can't stand on his spot. But yeah, this is where you'll turn in Athena loot. And, you know, this is where you'll maybe see Athena emissary. Hey, Tina. Oh, and we're spawning on Golden Sands. Yes! This is, uh, this is actually the first update with, uh, Golden Sands being back, too. Nice. Uh, everybody has their opinions on how this turned out. Um, I was on, I was on the hunter side. I wanted Golden Sands to come back because this is where my wife and I turned in our first, uh, Skull Fort loot. You know, this is, you know, I got memories here. And, yeah, we'll just kind of leave it at that. But, yeah, so... Uh, but yeah, this is, you know, I will actually throw up a picture of the, the post I did on Instagram where, you know, this was like over here. Uh, this ladder wasn't here. Is there something up here? Or is this just like, oh, hey, we're going to be hanging the sign back up. I think this is, uh, we're just hanging the sign back up. Okay. Oh, and the cannons are back. Yeah, because after the event was over, they can't, they took the cannons away. I will speak to the gold warrior here in a second. I just want to kind of like check this stuff out. 
Nice. You know, cannonball barrels. Nice. Good way to stock up on cannonballs before you leave. Alright, so we still have... Yeah. Okay, let's head this way. But yeah, during the during that event, I honestly feel like I was one of the only content creators that wanted Bull and Sands to stay. Except for like Fuzzy. This is cool. So yeah, the hunters, hunters call is helping with the rebuild. That's cool. Can you loot these? Nope. So the merchants are have to be back now, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Nice. Nice. So there's like, it's like a shrine uh, to the hunter's victory. Nice. I like that. Okay. Well, let's uh, knock this out. I see robbery in your eyes. Hello, Hugh. Alright. Oh, so our first one's free. Oh, wow. It's so... Okay, for me, like, I've been max level gold, gold hoarder for so long that I honestly forgot what the the uh, early cosmetics looked like. I love that the glass and the compass is broken. Go away. I want to count my coins again. Yeah, okay, sir. Do we have... Yep. Absolutely nothing. Awesome. All right, so let's uh, knock out our first gold water voyage, eh? All right, so we have to turn off all lanterns. Um, now, the, here's something that might bug you guys. I need to turn on colorblind mode. There we go. There, now this is looking a lot better for me. Yeah, I'm red, green, colorblind, and for some reason the green, red filter looks better for me. Like, easier to see everything. Aside from the, the red, green. Boom. Okay, so where's our first one? That's Rapier King, I think. Yeah, yep, that's just off to the north. I think the first one's meant to be that close. Literally my favorite thing about this game, shooting out of island, uh, shooting out of cannons. Yep. All right, so let's pull out our map. Now, when it comes to reading maps, um, you'll get better at it over time. Uh, you just kind of want to just use terrain association. Like, so look look for like terrain features. So, like here, like obviously the shape of this island is a terrain feature, but like the, all this grass right here, that's up on the map, and then these trees as well. And then each of those little islands right there. Okay, so you just use that to help kind of narrow it down, and boom. Uh, seeker's chest. Oh, castaway chest. Give me Captain Falcor. Oh, hey, there's something in the water right here. Oh, is that a map bundle? Interesting. So somebody sunk here. 
And boom. Our first chest. That is one critique I will have about about the beginning. Like, granted, yeah, like we get all we get all this gold here for doing the for doing the maiden voyage, but again, like you only get it if you like know where to find the key and you do that. Other than that, our first voyage only got us less than 200 gold. Which isn't enough to buy a voyage, actually. At least it shouldn't. Hang on. Greetings, Gold Hunter. Oh, these are all zero. Interesting. Our fortune awaits. Oh, there's a mermaid here. Which means somebody's here. So this is why I typically recommend doing, if you're not 100% sure. Sometimes the mermaid thing's a glitch. Just kind of just jump off. Make sure your ship's sailing in a safe direction. Parlay is no, no, don't have that out. Okay, I'm just gonna walk slowly towards you. Take chicken. Thank you for the chicken. Where's your ship? I saw your mermaid I here, so I just uh, here, so I just uh, jumped off. Oh, uh, wanted to say, wanted to say hi. Later, buddy. All right, we'll see if he attacks us this time. Probably not, but I think we could probably take him if he does try to fight us. Hello? Hello? Psst, Omar. This way. Oh, hello. Wait, this is a this is a mic who is it? No. I'm the guy that you just saw. Oh. I'm the guy that you just saw. Come drink. Come drink. I got a question. Does this one match? I respect, I respect it. I respect it. Respect uh, the drip. That's respect the drip. Thank you. Decided to reward myself, you know? Yeah. Looks nice. Yeah. Looks nice. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take a seat with you. Nice. Do you mind if I join your ship? Because my crew abandoned me. Oh, well, as much as oh, I would love well, to do that, as as I, would love to do that I actually have to get off. Uh, would you like off. to do the outro uh, for my you YouTube video? For my YouTube video? Sure, sure. All right, give me your, give me your best shot. Give me your, go for it. Go for it. 
I don't know what to say. <laughs> what should I say? I don't know. Just channel it. Just uh, channel in your channel inner your content creator. Inner what do you think? Creator. What do you think? What do you think you should say in a YouTube you video say when you're saying goodbye? Video. When you're saying goodbye. Uh, to be honest, just end the video. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Well, you've been a good sport, buddy. I'll catch you later. I'll catch you later. Adios. All right, guys. Well, you heard from him. We're just going to go ahead and end the video. So if you guys are liking this series so far, go ahead and drop a like on this so I know that you guys want to keep watching this. And if you're brand new here, please consider subscribing. But that is all for me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the seas next time.